All right, I'm back to a new edition of I don't know how to clean my desk. And showing you today another uh, custom handmade little chassis, which is M size uh, chassis. It's um, 200 or 210, I'm not so sure. Let's check. It's fine. All right, so that's, that's a 210 and 170 width. Uh, FF chassis that I've made is which is basically a pan car. If you can tell, the inspiration for it was the old uh, Yokomo, I forgot the name, like YRS with some number, which had those cool long bars at the back. He was using regular suspensions, which this one is not, but I like the look of it. And so, where to start? Let's start from the, from the front. So, it's a direct drive with a belt, belt driven, gear diff from Free Racing. The CVD is from Free Racing and the Free Racing turnbuckles, which is, those are the hubs are from the M4, I think, from Free Racing. Uh, it had different, it, uh, different iteration in the front. It used to have like a, a gear, spur gear. They would drive the belt, but that would make the motor even more in front than it is right now. This is quite ahead of the front axle as it is now. And as you can tell as well, the weight is not greatly balanced because the motor is a lot to one side of the chassis. And so the entire front plate is like one big pan. It's got some suspension spring in the front. And actually the this plate is acting as a spring as well. It's bending when it's going up and down. And then you have like a pen style, pen car style, F1 style, direct servo for the steering. Have the ESC on the side. I'm using a 17.5 right now. I used to run like a 23 turn brushed and they would just, the motor would just burn out. I used to run the, a solid axle as well in the front, which I think didn't help <laughs> the motor from leaving a very long time. And the other thing that's important about the front end is that it swivels, it moves left and right. It's attached on two points. You can tell that there there was a lot of changes due to the sh done to the chassis. Like there are holes everywhere. That's how it is now. So the front can move as well, which means you have pretty good amount of flex overall in the car. And so then moving from the front axle, the servo, all this is one solid part in the front. That's the part that swivels. And at the rear here, that's the battery tray that can fit all the way to these points, uh, shorty, shorty pack. And then for the rear end, uh, I have, those are from the front end of the FGX, the F1 from Free Racing. And then I have those fiber plates left and right, that are actually acting as a spring. So you see, those are the ones that bend, and then I have the shock here to dampen, but the shock is mounted, uh, yeah, you can see clearly upside down. I got those carbon bars to hold it. Then I got the body post at the back. And then they are connected, so it's like a mega sway bar at the back with a 2mm plate. And so that's that's my FF M chassis. The only body that I found that could fit this crazy front end is this body from I do not remember whom. But it's a little Subaru truck and the cab is super forward so that can accommodate the motor without having to make a big hole in the front. And yeah, little poly slide, I have a tiny interior I'm not sure what you can see in there oh yeah, yeah maybe the other way I have designed a little dashboard and steering wheel which is fun I used to have an interior but there's so much weight in the front already that the, the interior made the front of the car super bouncy it's so idea as it is now it's actually a really good driving chassis as well as the one I showed yesterday it's 
not made for a bumpy track, just the nature of the front ends that have a very very small amount of, of movement and it does, doesn't have dampening but the traction in the front is amazing because of all that weight it's kind of balanced with the ESC I think I should have a little bit more weight to the sides I'm using uh, oversized ESC just for that reason that's a 120 amp which this car doesn't need could run on the 60 amp easy and I added some weights at the back I'm still playing around with the car I've gone through so many transmission this, this car just burns transmission it used to burn belts as well but so far I think the tension I have is pretty good so what's really cool with a, a direct drive like that with a belt is so quiet it's really really like just you just hear a little whistle coming coming out of the car I don't have the the sensor cable at the moment but it's a sensored system and what else to say I think not much else I really like the idea this is something I took from the the classic chassis that I have a classic chassis from the uh, the GTDU from WRC and I, I like the idea to have a front end that have supposed to have like no spring at all as you have a little spring but just the front end can sway left to right swivel uh, on on two mounting points just just little pivot and so the, the 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 car can just you know flex along the ground but if if it's heavy enough it's really planted and it's it's a great great system that I've I've done on many of the vehicle I have which is I'm using as well for the a new 112 pan car that I'm that I'm designing now and so yeah I think that's that's going to be it for the car that car today uh, once again you know guys share your your cars we'll be really happy to see the projects you have and see who has the dirtiest board to work on I might be in the top 10. Alright, so you guys stay safe, happy quarantine, and see you later. Bye bye.